Estevez. Estevez. Two on, two out Respected for him here in the third. Omar Estevez. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip on it, huh? Here's the two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Come on, come right on, come on, come on. fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the end. Coming to the plate now, the Bulldog Bud. Bulldog. First Bud. pitch of the at-bat. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Striding in once again, Omar Estevez. A hit in two tries so far. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. He's up right here. To right second here. for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that. The At the plate for Yudis Nova. A hit in two tries for him so far. Yudis Nova. Popped him up. I got it. Sanchez has got it. And the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Your attention, Kent please. Emanuel is on to pitch Alvin. from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 64. Kent. First delivery to Alvin. him on the way. Alvin. Lifted in the air to center. Jimenez is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. So striding in, Carmen Benedetti. The right fielder, Carmen. Down to third. Scooped up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Digging in, Bulldog Bud. He's two for four in the ballgame. Smoke toward third. Reined in. Throw in time and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Four to two, the final score tonight. Tulsa used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Mitchell Schaefer takes the Bank win on the mound, his line second line. of the year. The Milton Victoria Lima Miller. wraps it up Four for the save, his hit. second. Joe so Aaron, that'll just about do it. For day. Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Minor League Baseball is... Now at the plate, Bulldog Bud, first shot the for him team. here. Two hits Bulldog. in five trips a night Bud. ago. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So not much happening here in the top half. Striding oh, into baby. the box, now Bulldog back. Bud, he flew out in his last at bat. Ground ball left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will no, be too safe. late as he can't recover in time. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chad Spanberger. The first baseman, Chad Spanberger. Runner goes. Hit to first. Fielded cleanly. Step on the back for one. Thought about third, but he'll go to second instead. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Standing in, Jody Kelsey, runner in scoring position with two gone. Jody Kelsey. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Digging in, Gilberto Jimenez. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right up. We move into the middle innings with no score. Now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go as the third baseman. Bulldog Bud sent in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there and records the... Stepping into the box, Bulldog Bud. Bulldog Bud. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Round, round, And that ball round, gets round. down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. 
you'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. And the runner's breaking for third. He swings and misses. Throw down. And he will be nailed at third on a question. So stepping in, J.J. Matajevic. J.J. Now the 2-1. A line shot to third base. So quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Well, there's no doubt they've looked pre inept the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win. After not heeding a manager's instruction, this player is hit with a consequence.
Just days before the 40-round MLB draft, some lesser known... Everyone has a personality, even a ball player. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches. Digging in, Pedro Santos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom now, half of the first. For the West now Robinette. here's the pitch. The first base base. And a foul Pedro. tip held on to All here at strike Santos. one. Here we go. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Cut it, cut it, cut it, two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Stepping in now, Garrett Kilpatrick fouled off. Garrett Kilpatrick. Comes set and the 0-1. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. Hey, after that extra base one, hit, things one. could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in his zone with a nice executed pitch. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Batting third. The designated hitter. Johnny. Into the box now. Eddie. Johnny Eddy as he lays off a fastball too low for ball hey, one. Going down here. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. 
Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitch breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And the runner back easily. So 1-1. One, one. Count is 2-1. and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. James is there, one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Stepping in, Michael Zildazer, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and oh, the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Aye. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two and two. Here's a look over to first, and he's back easily. Santos over at second. Kilpatrick at first, one gone. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Digging in the switch hitter, Josh Doyle, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Come set, the 0 1. Two down, runners at first and second. Nope. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Salvatore Velasquez. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Come on now, come on. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Looked like a breaking ball that time, but it never came back down. Random isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. Settling in now, Jason Rodriguez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Hey, two here. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now the pitch. Grounded weakly toward third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And coming yeah. forward now is the shortstop, Steve Nolo. Shortstop. Fouled away. Steve Nolo. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Digging in now, Pedro Santos. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. 
trailer is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Kilpatrick. First pitch of the at bat. Garrett. Clearly Kill off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Leonardo Mascara is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. The West used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jackson Nathan gets the W on the mound. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire... Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead. So striding in, Thomas Hansen. He will lead this one off today. The second baseman. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. First pitch, 105. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 oh and 2. The first count. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a fastball is swung on and missed. And there is your first out of the contest. Now in the box, Nelson Sanchez. He'll get to take his the first cuts here. here. Nelson. Curveball looked at here Hello. for strike one. one. Strike. Clear skies this afternoon. 84 hey, degrees away, is our first away. pitch temperature. Not close with that one. It's way one. above the strike zone. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. He's around first, heading for two. He's around second now, and they still relay, haven't relay, gotten relay. to this thing. Cut it, cut it. And he cut is it. in it. there at third with a one out triple.
batting third. The center fielder. Ken Cato. And one down now, one down. At the plate, Ken Cato. And oh. she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for one ball, ball one. No strike. Sanchez takes his lead at third with one Back away. Move. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ball. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two one and one. Strike. All even now, two and two. Here we go, guys. And there's three ball. ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And this ball one ball. misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. First pitch on its way. Ricky Richard comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a miss here, and he's no behind in the count now, 0-2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So striding forward now, Danny Wallstrom, and their runners at the corners now. No balls and one strike. Comes set, the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing into the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no air. Now at the plate, Glenn McGee, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One strike. Here we go. And now pitch on the way. That's the ball. And that's going to be high two and two now. And nobody what? Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. In now, Todd Guerrero. The designated hitter. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, we got one here. We got one. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. Come on, guys. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. And that's just an excellent job of attacking the batter. The entire at bat right there. Here. Eventually finishing him off for the strikeout. I don't care what he does the rest of the showcase. He just shows he knows how to mix his pitches, keep hitters off balance, and finish him when he has the chance Good stuff. Oh. Breaking. Ball below the zone. That's ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. He doesn't have a big fastball, but he was able to get that pitch by him. And Matt, that's 100% a result of setting up with the off-speed pitches before it. If you're not a hard thrower, hey, you could still have some here, success, huh? but you have to learn how to mix speeds and set everything. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Ready now, J.J. Swan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in yeah. time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Ready for another chance? Thomas Hansen. Yeah, he looked to bounce back the after striking base. out his last Bravo. time up. That's lifted Hansen. the other way out to left. Nine, nine, Trailer nine. is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far.
at the plate. Nelson Sanchez. Now bad. First delivery to him on the way. Nelson. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot one, one, right one. here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Leonardo Mascara will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Seven to two, the final score this afternoon. The Central Prospects led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Leonardo Mascara pitches well enough to get the W. Armando Vila worked only three innings in the losing effort, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. With the third pick, the Miami Marlins select Joe Random, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. When a player returns to a scout day, having been through the process before, he knows exactly what to expect.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one. Stepping up now, Anthony Negri. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The right fielder. Anthony. Now a swing and a fly Negri. ball. But this will land out there First just hit. foul. 107. Skied into very shallow right. Mine, mine, mine. Lopez is in a few steps as he takes it for the first out. Now batting, Greg hey, Miller. He'll get to take batting, his first batting. cuts here. The center fielder. Fastball hey. taken, but that gets Miller. the zone for a strike. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch lifted down the line in left in comes the left fielder he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning now with the plate Lauren Foster as he'll get his first opportunity in this one fastball just missed above the zone Hey, two up. A ball and a strike now. And he'll come back with one in the one. dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Two out, nobody on. Two. And he hits the corner with that one. Two and two. 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 Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Second inning set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Frank Harrison. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Fly ball right down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder. And they can't run it down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball hey! called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box. Lamar That's Herring. It. The first baseman. Lamar. And here's a fastball Herring. called for strike one. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0-2. He's got one here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And one, he won't two. offer it that. Too high. One and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? And he fouls this one off. Still looking for our first All hit right, in the ball now. game. And he got him. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that really impresses here in a showcase. That's three Ks that's for him so far. And he's showing he can make big-time well hitters swing and miss yeah. on a regular basis, which is something. It's in baseball. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the plate, hey, Julio right Valencia. Now. The second baseman. Julio. First delivery to Julio. him on the way. And he throws the fastball oh and by him here. 0-1. Oh and, A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Oh now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Back to the again. plate now is the designated hitter, Tom oh. Dutzman. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So digging in now, Lawrence McManus. First pitch on its way. Slow curveball at 74 in for a strike. Hey, let's go right here. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2.
The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Count remains at 0-2. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely... late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. He's got time. And he'll step off. Third inning, no score to this point. Fouled away. One, one, Fastball one. right back to the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again and the inning. Your attention, Robbie please. Duffy is on and he'll take over on the mound. Three to one the final score this afternoon. The Central Prospects wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Roberto Morales takes home the win. So that'll just about do it. Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead. Stepping in, Julio Dominguez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Way half of the first. The East prospect, the second baseman. And Julio. a fastball misses here to start Dominguez. the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. No one down here. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very Batting nice off-speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Stepping up to the plate, John McKenna. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 
Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping up as the shortstop, William Lee. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Ready on one and two. No. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. And that's the first out. Into the box now, Jim Myrick. He'll swing it from the left side right here. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. One, ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes. We're playing 12. Bottom Let's of the shoot. second here with no Let's score. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Yeah, and the hitter just froze, and that off-speed pitch dropped right in there for called strike three. Batting, you yeah. know, some young pitchers get That's anxious and hitter. want to attack with Got fastball with two-strike count, no, but he has it. enough confidence in his stuff to go with his off-speed there. The scouts love to see that confidence and One wide one. repertoire. Is put in play to the right side of the infield, That's and the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and... Bottom of the third now, and Where next will be a Where's speed the thread in the form of outfielder right field. Oswaldo Vizcaino. Oh, no. Just gets a piece Vizcaino. of it, strike one. And nobody away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Ah, and he's got to be more disciplined no here. It's 0-2. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Inside, as that perhaps will back him Play off 12. a bit. One and one two. Ball, two strikes. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Striding in, Ramon Garcia, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Fouled off. Garcia. Oh, and one. Here it comes. One, one, a curveball hit right back at him. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. So coming to the plate, Tino Herman. He's ready. Here's the first, the first offering. Tino Herman. Bases are empty here with two men out. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Hey, we need a strikeout right here. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He's been pounding his own with nothing but strikes, but that's an amazing take right there. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Robbie Duffy takes the mound as he's been... A one-run game this afternoon, three to two, the final finish. The Central led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Robbie Welcome back to the Major League Baseball. With the first pick, the Detroit Tigers select Joe Random, a starting pitcher from the Central Region.
Once again as last year, this returning candidate gets a call from his advisor on the third day of the MLB draft. Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set. Reed Love, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this one today. Here's the one and one delivery. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. One, Little one, chopper one. back to the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. At the plate, Mason McCoy. He'll get that to take his seven. first cuts here. Not shortstop. Mason. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. One one. Hey, either this hitter one needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Here's a little oh, chopper Lord. up the middle. Reined in. And an off-balance oh. throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. The first first cuts for him here with the AJ. bases open and two oh, away. 0-1 the count. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, this is. amazing inning right here attacking the zone keeping his defense invested chance to get off the field super quick what now a got? check swing did he go around no says Kenny Jansen it's ball one what? a knuckle curve there and he thought he had him but it's two and two and this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two this is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0 and 2, one, one, then he started one. getting cute, and now the count is full at 3 and 2. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after three. a pitch or two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brett Cumberland. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Yeah. And a first pitch knuckle Number curve away. is a called strike. 0 and 1. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or one, go one, elevated one. fastball. Hit back toward the mound. Two, two. And that is by him on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. 
That's why I always said, Dan, there's no justice in this game. This guy watches two pitches over the heart of the plate and then gets a knock on a ball way out of the zone. Boy, you said it. There's no justice in baseball, d -Row. It's just That's us. It. Takes two pitches That's right down the middle and then swings that oh, one yeah. off the plate. <laughs> just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's ready for his first at-bat of this hey, early right season cut. Now a throw over. No, Runner great. back standing. Cumberland on at first. Nobody out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, no outs here. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. Into the box, Cedric Mullins. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Runner's back. Runner at first here, one man out. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first into the box now Ryland Bannon as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield no balls and a strike to count and now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here no balls and two strikes protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again Runner in scoring position at second with two down. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jomar Reyes. Third baseman. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Digging in, Frank Harrison, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. One out, nobody on. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Yeah, we got one out here. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Digging in to try it again. Chris Escalona. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Popped him up. Savick shading to his right. And the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Mason McCoy. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And there's the first out. Digging in for his second at bat. A.J. Reed bad. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The difference between 0 1 and 1 0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking his own and getting ahead of these hitters. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brett Cumberland. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys. High and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And standing in is the D.H., Ryan Ripken. Oh, yeah. Fastball here as he'll take a look at Rip ball hit. one. One and oh. Go out. And this will be fouled away. Hey, plays at one now. Now the one and one pitch. 
Hard hit at third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now at the plate, Cedric Mullins. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number 31. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Well, Knuckle two. curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's yeah. seat, sitting with the 2-0 count. 3-0 to him now. Hey, we got one here, guys. The pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Now that foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Standing in, Ryland Bannon. He looked to bounce back after Respect striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count. Oh, and two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Coming to the plate now, Joe Reyes. He popped out in his first trip. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0-2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. Two out with the man at first. Right Three. down Main Street caught him looking. So a strong start on the mound as he's blank. At the plate, Frank Harrison will start things Rita out in their half of the sixth off. as they look to shake things up it. here for a lineup Three. that, quite frankly, Harrison. has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. Oh, I mean, what else back. can you say about the pitching hey, they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later innings. Looked like he was on one that one, but it's two one and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck no out, and we're Don't only in the second game of this series. Chris Escalona is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Now here it comes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike now zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer it, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and here Hold comes the first line. baseman, A.J. Reed. Baseman. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Inside, There's the knuckle one. curve laid off, one and one. Hey, nobody gone now. Two balls and a strike to A.J. Reed. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Well hit to right, oh, foul but ball. foul. They put him away. Here now the 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hey, we got one here. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. 
punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Nope. Here's ball a breaking one. ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Next will be the designated hitter, Ryan Ripken. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Now here's a comebacker. back. One there. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Cedric Mullins. And he takes ball one. That's nope. wide, 2-0. and oh. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Left side, but well foul. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and one. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns Your into a knock. Now, now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was the like a throwback game when home game. runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints hit. here. No this evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Erie took the lead the in the second off. inning and no rode run. that until Four the very hit. end. No Joe Random earns his first win of the season. A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff.
the game's future start. Now to the plate, Adrian Bellerio, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at-bat. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, Dero, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that 3 2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Floyd Rice comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. This is foul right side. One out, nobody on. Hey, we got one. Got him. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate flailing all over the place but now that's his sixth strikeout of the series they really got him figured out Logan Hill is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh sneaks a fastball by him at the letters it's one and one Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now two outs in the first inning he's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him the one two Oh, uh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening. Now at the plate, Isaiah Larkin. He's two for seven in the series so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Larkin is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Bases are empty. One man out. lifted down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball and he wastes a fastball high there one and two love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here this is lifted out to left and two quick outs here in the second Striding into the box, Mitchell Tolman. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. The 0-2 home. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Well, that's back-to-back off-speed pitches, and he wasn't biting on either. Now let's see if he goes back to the hard stuff or gives the softer stuff another shot. Left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery no, will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Standing in now, Chris Sharp, as he hits it weakly on the ground court first. And he'll get in there safely. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick... And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. 
Digging in, Jason DeLay, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1 1. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's 1 2 now. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time, one down. Striding in once again, Adrian Valerio. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Throw gets him, two down. Standing in, Floyd Rice. How about it? First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Two out, nobody on. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Striding forward now is the D.H., Logan Hill, as we begin the top of the fourth. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. A ball and two strikes now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. And he struck him out. The great equalizer. The changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer at that one out now of the that, zone. And it was all two. set up by the fact that he there got ahead in the count and Lord forced yeah. the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here. And he's in control 0-2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Grounded softly to the right. He's got it. To the plate the now, one. Travis Swaggerty. Wow. He'll swing and Rapid. lift a ball foul off Rapid. to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fouled off. The 0 2 pitch. Now a throw over to first, and he's back in standing. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0-2, and he got him. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that now wasn't that, a great pitch to do pitch. it on. It's really not Good the throw. best two-strike approach oh, either. Man. Larkin, the runner at first with two gone. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Chris Sharp. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Gorman comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. 
So stepping in, Jesse Madrano. Now batter. He's ready. The Here's the first base. offering. Jesse Madrano. Chopper down the yeah, third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. down two, the first baseline two, two, two. but this will wind up foul still 0 and hey, 2 away. Away. Ball. good arm action there but this one misses and it's one a ball, ball and two strikes, two strikes. No, that's and good take that time on a low breaking ball two and two now he went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here you don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Stepping into the now box, batting. Jason yep. DeLay looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. No Hold balls and one strike. Okay, let's go right here. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Hit back toward the mound. Reined in. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Adrian Valerio. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. And he fouls this one off. Got no one. The 2-2. Two -two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Digging in once again, Floyd Rice. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hanging changeup, laid off for a ball. Swung on and missed, one and one. Come on now. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and there are two down. Ready once again. Logan Hill. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Hey. And a fastball's in there for strike one. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Oh, two is the count. Fouled away. Now another 0-2. One, one, one. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And no chance no, on the safe. throw here as he reaches first easily. Hey, not a bad pitch not right bad. there. Off-speed pitch good. down in the zone. I he thought are. he would set that up pretty well. Mark, the previous yeah. pitch was a real good fastball up. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Dan. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off-speed. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Digging in, Travis Swaggerty. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Pops this one up. Kavako moving to his left. He's got it one away. Ready for another shot now. Mitchell Tolman, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ball game. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Reined in. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. 
Stepping in, Chris Sharp. One for two on his line so far in the game. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. This one pretty well in the back. Ethan DeCaster is into the ball game now as he'll make his. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine run for victory? For a, a nine nothing shutout final in this ball game. Run, the Perkins Erie Seawolf. A player receives the check-in from one of his coaches.
MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Jacob DeGrom gets the starting nod for the Mets. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Arizona, the center fielder, Starling Marte. 